Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have discussed many approaches to create linear regression supervised machine learning model, right? I have shown you from correlation coefficients how we can derive that. I have shown you matrix method also, which is basically we say least square approach and I have shown you gradient descent also, right? Now, the very important question which is very interesting as well as frequently asked in the machine learning data science related interview process is whether you need to perform feature scaling for creating a linear regression model or not okay pause my video try to think about the answer for a while here i am explaining the answer okay so the answer is if you are using the least square approach ordinary least square approach either using matrix method or you might use the uh, correlation approach using from correlation you can derive the coefficients okay if you follow that approach that time you don't require feature scaling but if you are using gradient descent that time you need to perform feature scaling okay now the question comes why simple that if you just go through my linear regression in MATLAB using matrix method or using correlation and standard deviation when we have tried to calculate or estimate alpha, beta, slope and intercept values, you can easily understand that those calculations are nowhere basically related to our values of input feature like if you consider this particular matrix method what we have done y equal to alpha x plus beta our simple linear regression model we have in uh, data x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 so on we have just put all those values in this equation we have created this matrix and we then uh, inverse this take inverse and we get the appropriate values alpha and beta okay so here is the code also given you can easily understand from this particular code that this is simple simple matrix calculation and uh, from the uh, knowledge of matrix calculation whatever you have got uh, since class 11 mathematics course i hope you know well that nowhere we need to think about the values of matrix while doing matrix calculation okay larger or smaller like that right so basically feature scaling will not come in this particular picture of linear regression when you are using matrix method okay that is ordinary least square approach but if you are using gradient descent you just recall i have shown you that uh, when your learning rate become very high that time the system might oscillate and may become unstable system and you might not get the optimal minimum point of your objective function okay Th uh, that gradient descent algorithm might overshoot the actual optimal minimum point right so that problem might appear if you don't apply feature scaling in gradient descent see how our updation method in simple gradient descent was x equal to x naught minus eta into gradient okay and if you dig deeper into the derivation if you just recall whatever derivation i have done the m and c how they updated m next slope next slope equal to m previous minus of 1 by n summation over minus of 2 into xi multiplied by this term into learning rate okay and c was updated like this for c it is not at all a problem whether you are doing feature scaling or not but if you observe for m see here we have multiplied xi okay so suppose you have not applied feature scaling and your xi value is very large that time what might happen that time this particular overall term become might become a big value because you are multiplying that with xi multiplying whole term with xi right each input feature so that time this might lead to a bigger value and as a result this overall term okay when you are multiplying with learning rate that also lead to a bigger value as a result the next time when you are updating your slope it might change by a huge amount compared to your, your previous slope and as a result what might happen that if you just recall the optation method x equal to x naught minus theta into gradient so here this particular gradient term 
is changing by a huge amount due to multiplication of xi as a result there is a possibility that eta into gradient also become very huge value and as a result there is a possibility that x will change by a huge amount compared to its previous x value so suppose initially uh, at one particular iteration you are here okay but due to huge change okay you might overshoot your optimal minimum point and you might come here okay like this it might happen so the presence of multiplication factor in this m okay this particular one is affecting the step size of our gradient and that's what might happen that your gradient descent may not move very smoothly and again the problem whatever we are facing at high learning rate might occur here also and due to this multiplication factor it might overshoot the uh, optimal minimum uh, part of my objective function and may oscillate and uh, may take huge time to converge to optimal solution okay so to ensure the gradient descent moves smoothly what we can do we have to do feature scaling we have to to scale down our features so that this xi when you are multiplying that might not affect this particular whole updation method by a huge amount and it will uh, go smoothly to our optimal part or minimum part of our objective function so that we can get the uh, convergence criteria in a small time okay or gradient descent converge with small time right so i hope you have understood that in case of gradient descent this particular feature scaling is important and why this is important you can easily understand from this particular multiplication factor xi right i hope you have understood this video very important interview question okay so if you find this video helpful please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you for watching